Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. India's Congress party continues protest against Rahul Gandhi's disqualification. Bike production drops in Pakistan amid decades high inflation. And UN says prominent Afghan girls education advocate arrested in Kabul. And now for all the details. Both the houses of the Indian parliament were adjourned for the day on Tuesday as the opposition continued its protest over the Adani issue with the lawmakers dressed in black raising slogans against the government. The main opposition Congress party has stepped up protest across the country, especially after the disqualification of party leader Rahul Gandhi from the parliament following his conviction in a defamation case. Members of NSUI, the student wing of Congress, also held special prayers in Guwahati city as a symbolic protest. They accused the ruling BJP on trying to silence dissenting voices by targeting a prominent face. Pura political murder. Abhi Rahul Gandhi se ko politically puri tarike se. Wo log soch rahe ki Rahul ji ka zaban bolti ban kar payenge. Lekin ham log bol rahe ham log Rahul ji ka sipai hai. Ham log darne wala nahi hai. Aaj ham Bhagwan ke liye ham log Bhagwan ko ham log dua mang rahe ki thoda sa sadbuti de de. Narendra Modi, Amit Shah aur Himanta Biswa Sharma. Protests were also held in Vyanad in southern Kerala state, which was Gandhi's parliamentary constituency. The BJP has insisted Rahul Gandhi's disqualification is lawful and not a ploy to target opposition leaders. Well, as India is seeing a surge in COVID-19 and influenza cases in recent weeks, doctors have claimed that most of the patients in India are not showing any symptoms of the coronavirus and hospitalization rate is still very low. A health expert at the Savdajang Hospital in New Delhi warned that it is important for everyone to stay alert. Doctors have said the change in weather, which saw the mercury plummeting following rains, has contributed to an ideal environment for viruses to thrive, causing more people to fall sick. But the cases are not so symptomatic. The other thing is that the cases are increasing, and some are incidental. I have seen a patient in admit hai. Lekin wo symptomatic. But it was not symptomatic. It was not symptomatic. उनको जब वेंटिलेट करने की बात आई तो उसमें पता लगा कि वो कोविड है India logged 1,573 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours, taking the active case load to 10,981. The central government has asked states to be on alert and assure preparedness for management of the viral disease. The production of motorbikes has dropped steeply in Pakistan for the first time since the year 2000 as it faces a worsening economic crisis. With current hike in prices and stagnant incomes, people are shying away from making new purchases. A report. The motorbike industry in Pakistan has become the latest victim of decades high inflation in the country, with production of motorbikes dropping steeply for the first time since the year 2000, reports suggest. Industry experts have linked the decline with the restrictions of import of components required for local productions. Earlier in December, traders' body data revealed the production rate slumped to 34%. With current hike in prices and stagnant incomes, the purchasing power of consumers has also decreased. Those who already own the two-wheelers are also getting rid of the vehicles as they struggle with their maintenance and fuel cost. दिन ब दिन महंगाई होती जा रही है कस्टमर है ही नहीं मार्केट में सन्नाटे होते जा रहे हैं ऐसा क्या करेंगे परेशान है दुकानदार भी कारोबार ना होने की वजह से कराए हैं दस खरा जा दें कहाँ से पूरा करें गरीब लोग का डेढ़ सौ रुपये किलो आटा हो गया सौ एक सौ दस रुपये किलो चीनी हो गई है महंगाई तो आदत चल रही क्या करें बंदा कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता है मजबूर है Pakistan is witnessing surge in inflation with the rates hitting a फिफ्टी ईयर हाई ऑफ थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इन फेबररी the latest government measures for an IMF bailout, including higher taxes and fuel costs, are hurting everyone. Many say they are cutting down on necessities to make ends meet. 
And scores of government workers in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir held a protest gathering recently to demand a hike in their salaries at par with their counterparts in Pakistan as they blamed the government of being apathetic towards their plight. They said it has become difficult for them to survive amid the soaring inflation and instead of getting any aid, they are being forced to pay heavy taxes. This is not something new as locals and government workers have to often face discrimination in the occupied region. The protesters warned of massive jams and shutter down strikes after Eid festival if their demands are not addressed. <laughs> The United Nations said on Tuesday that a prominent Afghan girls' education activist, Mathieu Lavesa, head of Penpath NGO, was arrested in Kabul this week. The UN assistance mission in Afghanistan called on the de facto authorities to clarify Vesa's whereabouts, the reason for his arrest, and to ensure his access to legal representation. Vesa, who comes from Kandahar province, has for years advocated for girls' education, particularly in conservative rural areas, including during the tenure of the previous Western-backed foreign government, where he said many girls living in the countryside were not reached by education services. The Taliban administration has barred most girls from high school and women from universities, saying there are perceived problems, including around female Islamic dress. Officials have said they are undertaking work to reopen schools, but have not given a time frame. Nepal on Monday put fugitive Khalistani sympathizer Amritpal Singh on the surveillance list after India requested Kathmandu's help in stopping him from fleeing to a third country. Local media reported about a letter from the Indian Embassy to Nepal's Department of Immigration requesting the government agencies to arrest the fugitive preacher from India's Punjab state. India has suspected that Amritpal might have entered Nepal. Reports suggest that Nepal's Home Ministry has directed all security agencies to be on high alert in the area border. India. Amritpal Singh has continued to evade arrest ever since a crackdown against him and member of his outfit, Varis Punjab Day, was launched on March 18th. And the sale of dates has increased across India during Ramadan. Markets have been flooded with different varieties of dates as these are eaten by Muslims to break their day-long fast during the Islamic holy month. The sellers of dry fruits in India's northern Muradabad city have been witnessing a huge surge in the demand of dates during the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. Dates are a quintessential fruit of Ramadan as they typically serve as appetizers before the lavish iftar meal to break the day-long fast. The markets have been flooded with different varieties of dates imported from different parts of the world, including from Saudi Arabia and Iran. <laughs> Besides being wonderfully delicious in taste, dates are rich in potassium, fiber and protein which make them a great option for consumption after a day-long fast. During Ramadan, Muslims around the world fast from sunrise to sunset and devote a majority of their time in prayers and charity. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see the same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.